On this channel, you have seen trade predictor results of gorillas and chimps. But in this video, I want to introduce to you an animal that is much more distant from us. A grey wolf. Microarray technology is primarily designed for human DNA, so when it's used for species closely related to humans, like gorillas or chimpanzees, the microarray probes can still detect a good number of shared DNA positions due to high similarity in genome structure. Since gorillas and chimps share a high degree of genetic overlap with humans, there is significant positional overlap, meaning many of the genetic markers or SNPs that microarrays are designed to detect in human DNA are also present in these close relatives. This allows for relatively higher coverage when creating microarray data files for chimpanzees or gorillas. However, wolves are more distantly related to humans than apes are. Due to the larger genetic divergence, fewer genetic markers on human-focused microarrays will align well with the wolf genome. This lack of genetic overlap means that many probes won't effectively match or capture wolf DNA sequences, resulting in lower coverage. The outcome is a microarray file with fewer data points, making it less comprehensive for wolf genomics compared to what can be achieved for more closely related primates like gorillas or chimps. In short, generating a high coverage microarray sequence for a wolf is pretty much impossible and for this video I am working with a very low coverage file, making the best out of the very limited data I have at my disposal. For this video I mapped the genome of a female grey wolf from the Pyongyang Zoo to a human reference genome. The sample was from a study entitled Elucidating the Korean Wolf Genetic Affinities Through Whole Genome Sequencing, and its microarray sequence format file will be available for purchase through the link which is in the description of the video. Let's start with what this wolf scores with some ethnic calculators. First, the Eurogenes K36 and Monty Oracle. According to the Eurogenes K36 and Monty, the grey wolf is mainly sub-Saharan African with a minor North Caucasian and East Asian component. It would be interesting to run this sample through a calculator that has non-human anchor populations as well, such as MDLP World Ancient Roots K10. According to MDLP World Ancient Roots K10 and Monty Oracle, this wolf is most closely approximated as a mixture of Hoisan with Vepsians. Vepsians, in case you aren't familiar, are a finno ugric group in northern Russia, whereas Hoisan are a sub-Saharan African group in South Africa. However, I have to note that the distance is extremely high, showing that although the calculator itself is well adapted for non-human cases, the oracle isn't. Let's begin with the trait predictor results for this wolf's sample. My trait predictor is a tool intended to be used on humans to determine their health predispositions, traits, and appearance on the basis of raw DNA but in this case we will be using it on a wolf. The single closest phenotype to her is an Australoid phenotype and the closest two-way mixture is a mixture of Sub-Saharan African and Eurasian phenotypes. In terms of coverage for coloring related traits, this prediction is based on only two SNPs. Nonetheless, based on this very limited data, she is predicted to have brown eye color, black hair color and dark brown skin color. Her predicted hair texture is kinky, and her predicted nose shape is Greek. She had lower than average odds for gout, open angle glaucoma, cataracts, corneal astigmatism, bipolar disorder, and schizophrenia. She had higher than average odds for rheumatoid arthritis, ADHD, syncope, prostate cancer, and carried the genotype leading to significant risk of carotid artery disease in humans which contributed to her high score for cardiovascular issues risk. Regarding rare conditions, she carried two relatively rare variants for hypopastasia and didn't carry any other risk variants for any other rare conditions. She was predicted to have an intermediate number of D2 receptor sites on the basis of two genotypes in DRD2 gene. She also had a genotype in ADCY2 leading to decreased risk of bipolar disorder. She had a predisposition to lower odds of autism. She had two genotypes leading to higher levels of glucose and scored elevated levels of glucose on the biomarkers panel. She had a predisposition to highest odds of epithelial cancer based on only one genotype in the 8Q24 region. 
She had two genotypes in SCA9A leading to higher pain tolerance. She had a genotype leading to lower estradiol levels. She didn't have any predisposition to androgen insensitivity or Reifenstein syndrome based on her AR genotypes. She had two risk variants for color blindness in OPN1SW. Based on two SNPs, she was predisposed to lower odds of obesity. She had a predisposition to lower than average blood pressure. She had a predisposition to average telomere lengths, which leads to average biological lifespan, which in the case of humans is around 80. She had a predisposition to shorter height, and there wasn't sufficient information in the file to determine her blood type. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you leave a like and share if you did. The link to purchase the wolf's file will be in the description as well as the link to purchase my trade predictor tool. Goodbye.